So, uh, I'm going to try to use the Matabo blades. I'll let you know what they do, how they do in comparison to some others. Uh, it's a 24 tooth, and we're going to be using it to cut a deck up. So, it's kind of reminds me, I kind of, when I hear Matabo, Ryobi, uh, Makita, I always think of Japanese karate moves. Matabo! But anyway, we're going to give it a shot and see how good they are. About $24 for three of them. Whew. Already been through four hours, forgot to have you along when we went picking out lumber and everything else. But today we're replacing this deck with something better, an eight by 10 with six by six posts at his request and a cover and a skirting around it, metal roofing. So we're gonna start out with building the frame. Show you what I did. Really doesn't take that much more to do it on 16 inch scissors. So come on over here. An inch and a half there. So I want 16 on center. So I go back three quarters. 16's the center. inch and five eighths make a mark and then start from this one remember this is 16 inch on center and then back three quarters and then inch and five eighths okay 16 32 48 You gotta check these because they make them a little bit longer. What I'm gonna do from here. I take that speed square. Now I've got these lined up perfectly together. And I transfer it over to the other one. That way I got both of them laid out the same. You can do this with a framing square also.
now we've got to cut well what you end up with a this is an 8 by 10 so I've got 10 long on these but we need 8 foot in, on, from one from one end to the other so now these are an inch and a half inch and five eighths thick so you actually need eight foot which is 96 inches okay minus inch and a half inch and five eighths and inch and five eighths okay so that would be 92 and three quarters you're at you're subtracting that three and a quarter from that 96 okay 92 three quarters that's what all these eight footers are got to be so I count one two three four five six seven eight nine ninety two and three quarters so I have to cut them too be squared from. If I was having problems seeing it, what I would do is put a circle around it so I know where it is. Six, seven. There's ten total. Yeah, one extra. That's good, because I make a mistake. The day I stop making mistakes would be the day I'm dead. Alright, okay. Mark these two. Got it? We gotta cut them all. Alright, so we cut them all off. They need to be cut off. Line them up for the marks and put one, this 10 footer on this end, that one on that end. Now we're gonna line them up on those marks, make sure they stay level here, and put screws in them. Make sure it stays square. I'm gonna get both ends first. That way I can just slip the others in between. You have to cut that? No. Not bad. You have to lift it up a little bit. You need to hold it for you? No, I got it. I can handle it. I've been to handling school. I say I can. I'm pretty sure handling school is free too. No, it was uh, Experience. hard knocks. Lots of hard knocks. How not to do it. Oh, just like Edison. A thousand ways to not do it. The best free thing in the world is experience.
Love that impact. Makes me look better than what I actually am. Get screw started. Honestly, uh, the, reason, the, reason, the reason why I like Ryobi so much is because the battery is so easy. Let me push it all over. Is that open on the bottom? Is it that or pull it this way? You probably suck it up. Yeah, but it's got a. <laughs> this is twisting. Mm. Oh, the bat one's twisting? Uh, okay, now we put the screws, three screws per, on those lines, and we're ready to put it in place. We'll tear down that deck that's existing and fasten this up temporary, square it up, show you how we do that. Okay, so we got a notch on two sides, that's the way the customer wants it, and it's at 22, 28 degrees. That's on one side. Then I also need to transfer it to this other side. So it'll literally be sitting over in that corner. Now, I only want it to be an inch and five eighths or so. So what I normally do is I set my saw like an inch and three quarters in depth. Okay, I look like closer to inch and seven, but that's fine. And then I start cutting in small.
might have to get a chisel out. If you don't have a chisel, you can use a screwdriver. You can also use a saw blade a little bit. But uh, in this case, it's pine and it's not got no knots in it, so it's coming up pretty good. <laughs> the Metabo blade uh, has done well. It's not a bad investment. I think it drags a little bit, um, but it cuts well and it's held its edge for quite a while now. We've cut a lot with it, so it's not going to be a bad investment for you to buy. Uh, I think it'd be a good one. So, Metabo blades wow. are good. All right, we worked very late. And we got back here late. That's how we made up for it. No, actually, we were doing work that was dirty, nasty, and didn't want to, you know, video that and show you guys that. It was dirty and nasty. Too dirty and too nasty. It was working on sewer. <laughs> A distribution box uh, where you take one pipe out of the, the septic tank and then spread it out into several others. Uh, the distribution box had collapsed. We had to dig it out, clean it out. It wasn't gray water. It was black water. Uh, nasty, nasty work. So we got here late to make up for being late yesterday, leaving like it was 7:30. So anyway, we did get a lot done. We're gonna do a lot more. So uh, stay with us, and we'll see what we end up getting. All right. So we're gonna put a top on this. I want it to be 12 foot, but I also want to allow for a board on each outside, so it'd be 12 foot minus three and a quarter. There's our 12. One, two, three and a quarter right there. So that way we can put a board on the outside, make a cleaner look. So I take my speed square. do my layout with a board being on the outside. I'm going to do two foot centers. That's a center. So back three quarters to be the outside. five hour shadow or whatever. Uh, this is what happens after I sweated and we worked all day long as hard as we could. I'm sorry we didn't bring you with us, uh, but we had to hustle. And we really hustled. I, I've been sweating all day. And uh, that kind of sweat is, say, sell in J Japan for aphrodisiac because that's rare. No, it's not. Anyway, I did sweat a lot. We built the ramp, put the handrails up. This dog is not going to jump over a coffee cup, but he won't be able to fall off this ramp. Uh, he's got handrails. The dog can't reach them, but... Yeah. 
maybe we'll take you with us whenever the metal shows up. They decided to say they don't know when it's going to show up. Sometime next week. But it's got gates on it so that uh, they can feel a little more secure. And guess what? We're like the Beverly Hillbillies going, going home. So that's the old deck. This is the new deck. Hopefully I can have one of these where I stay, have you guys with me all the way. Hey, guess what? We're moving on up. On top of the world. Huh. Top of up being silly. Glad to have you with us. If you've been following us, uh, we'll have built this frame, but now we're getting ready to put metal on it. We put the one by on the two foot centers. We took some screws loose. On the uphill sides, we'll have some slack to get in there. And if you look at where that falls out at the grid, looks like we need to cut, rip down the first one where it has two, if you notice, two of the small ribs. We need to cut on the inside of the second rib so that it'll look good all the way down. I want to go underneath the ribs that are already there and line up. So I'll have to use my electric shears, which I wasn't. Well, I might not have to. I may have to use a razor knife and cut and then open up that cut and snap it. We'll see. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to slide underneath that metal so that the water will come off that roof and then down here. Only thing we'll have to uh, prepare for is a driving rain pushing water up underneath that metal. And we'll do that by sealing, put a, a bead of silicone along before we put the screws back on top of the roof that is on the house. So when we put that metal under, we'll run a bead of silicone, put screws through so that driving rain won't push uh, all the way up. And we do get some winds here, 40, 50 mile an hour, I don't care. People say this climate is uh, very predictable and easy. It's, it's certainly not predictable. So uh, bear with me and we'll show you as we go along. Hey, let's put some uh, silicone under this edge. He's like, that's getting in my way. Hey, quit playing with the worm. Uh, Don't put those screws in yet. See how it goes with putting the silicone in. It's driving rain. Don't get up in here. We need to get it up under. I don't want to worry about that rib.
two or three times. 